go again. I gotta pay these bills, save something. I need ten more hours in a day. And when I'm feeling stuck, something else comes up. Sometimes I wanna have fun, but I can't. Got problems that I'm dealing with. So many, so many, so many mistakes I made. I'm living with so many, so many, so many. But I gotta find a way to make it through today. I'm leaning on, I'm leaning on a song that says everything's gonna be, gonna be okay, okay. Stop carrying problems through your life. Just let it be. Cause everything will happen So get up on your feet And stop worrying about things Everything's gonna change Gonna change when you surrender Get rid of bad people in your life Have faith and see That anything can happen So get up on your feet And stop worrying about things Good morning guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to our channel You guys see from the title Mama making her gumbo. It is Sunday, so happy and blessed Sunday to you guys. I pray that you all have an awesome Sunday and y'all have a great start to y'all week. Mom, you got anything to Good say? Good morning. Mm -hmm. I got my chicken barn. I'm making chicken gumbo. Oh, that damn barn. Let me just show y'all the pot. And that's it. she got her seasoning in there, her onions, bell pepper, red bell peppers. You got garlic in here? Yeah. And garlic. And then she put her chicken in. So she's boiling her chicken first. She has her gumbo base. And the rest of her seasonings, her meats and stuff, she chopped up yesterday. I didn't record when she chopped that up because my daughter Talia was here and we was just talking. Her birthday, Talia's birthday was what, Friday? And she, they took, her and her boyfriend took Philip out. So we were just out here talking and stuff. So I didn't get to record that. So I want to spend family time. But that's pretty much what's going on right now. It's 7.30 in the morning. Like I said, it is Sunday, so my mom will be going to church. But I will show you guys her entire cooking process once, you know, her chicken ball. Because she can't really do much else. Uh, at the moment until her chicken finished boiling and I'm about to start on breakfast for me and my little one all right y'all mama start on the rest of her stuff I didn't uh, start on my breakfast yet because I was wiping down the countertops and putting some stuff in a dishwasher so I'm gonna start in a second um put it over here but I gotta refill I gotta refill my bottle yeah. Philip just woke up but this is what mom is using. She got two cans of tomato sauce, her old bay seasoning, parsley, onion powder, garlic powder, the Tony Sasseries, her Louisiana gumbo base, and then she got her meats. And she already had cut up her meats. And then she got her chicken. Some people will put hot dogs in their chicken gumbo, some people don't. Some people don't put sausage, some people do put sausage. It's just up to you. Well, I'm going to let her explain that. I'm just telling y'all, this is what she put in her stuff. She got her flour over here. She got her cooking oil. And this is going to, you know, be to make the rest of her roux. You going to put butter in it? Or are you just doing the cooking oil? She's not doing butter today. Um, And then this is her chicken boiling away. So now I'm going to let her tell y'all the rest. I got cut up some more sausages and some weenus. Then this is going in my gumbo, along with my chicken. That's my chicken gumbo. Sausages, wings, hot dog. I mean, chicken. I got a whole chicken. So now I'm gonna make my roux. I already got my oil, and I made. How much oil did you put? Three tablespoons. She did three tablespoons of oil and she's doing three spoons of flour. And I know a few of you guys may ask, 
Why is she doing her own roux if she's adding the gumbo base, which is a roux? Because it's just know. intensified yeah. flavor. I always make my roux. Yeah. And whether you're doing it with, um, if you're doing okra gumbo, seafood gumbo, chicken gumbo, regardless of what type of gumbo you use, you have the option of making your own roux, getting a roux that's already made, or like mama doing, she making her own roux and then she's still adding the roux. Yep, I make my own roux too, like my can do chicken. So by the time you, by the time you add this and they add your water to it, you know it's gonna be, it's gonna have juice in it. Yeah, I see she's just stirring it. And of course, you know, you got to always make sure you stir your roux. And you can either, um, you can either do butter and flour or vegetable oil and flour. Uh, any type of oil base that you normally use, whatever you do, you're going to use half and half. And you're just going to constantly stir. Because you do not want your roux to burn. Because once it burns, you might as well throw it out. And just in case if you guys... Want to know the ingredients with the roux? You can look on the back, it'll tell you how many calories, how many servings it makes, and all of that. I know some people be watching their sodium level, so I just want to show y'all so y'all will know. And they do have the recipe for if you're doing a chicken and sausage gumbo, and that's what mama's doing. Or you can do the seafood gumbo. So it does have the instructions on both, just in case you haven't ever had this brand before. This, this, um, when I bought, I bought my chicken. It's gonna make the, it's gonna make the chicken broth. So all for this, I'm not gonna throw it out. I'm gonna use that chicken broth along with this to clean it up. Where it won't taste like. Plain water, so that's what I'm gonna use. This roux smells so good. How long do you normally let your roux cook? Or you just eyeball it? Okay. Eyeball it. Until it gets like a... Like mama, my mama used to say like it, it look like a, a, a peanut butter color. And she has a stove on medium heat. And it, it is getting that. See how it's browning? It's browning. You gotta count the instructions, you don't need any burning sticks. And I don't want no burnt flour. So that's basically it. That's coming on good. See how I'm getting to that color? Seafood gumbo for the holidays. And I know a few of you guys asked last time when we was live about her cooking her gumbo. So this is her cooking it. And then in that live, a few of you guys asked, Do I make it? We both make gumbo. Yeah. It just depends on. <laughs> Who's cook, who, cook, who is cooking that Sunday? Because y'all know last Sunday I did the seafood ball. This Sunday she's cooking gumbo. So we always take times cooking on a Sunday. And then holidays we all cook. So my next gumbo making will be for Christmas. Because I don't think we're going to have it. No, we're not going to have gumbo for Thanksgiving. She say that now, y'all. And then she might be like, well, at least y'all change my mind. I want some gumbo. It's kind of how many folks we have here. And we have, we have more folks coming. I have to fix some gumbo. Right. See, so yeah. In turkey. <laughs> in ham. I and mean, then that's when y'all like are here. I have to see. And that's when y'all hear me say, well, I'm going to the seafood place to get mama some stuff for her gumbo. 
Yeah, I'm a change because I don't want nobody to say, you say you want to make it, no, 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 for Christmas, so I changed it. But it won't be seafood gumbo a day. I'm making some shrimp and sausage gumbo. And you can smell all them flavors, y'all. And it's always been like a generation thing. My mama, my grandma taught my mama and, you know, her kids. And then I told y'all, I always lived with my grandmother growing up, so she taught me. And then my mama taught me. And then I teach my kids and my mama teach my kids. So that's just, you know, how we do. Um, and then, you know, along the way, you will add, you know, one thing or something. You know, it's just how it is. You will kind of add something. You never take away. But, you know, as generation change, you might add one little thing or you might keep the original recipe. You know that. So. Now, I'm going to pour this root into this pot with my chicken. And I'm going to just see let me cook and everything to my sausage in it. Then I put this in it. Oh, I got to put this in it. I'm going to put this in, then I put this in it. And again, if, for those of you guys didn't catch the very first part when I came on, when my mom was boiling her chicken, she had her water, she had garlic, onions, bell peppers. Am I missing anything? And they had celery in that pack. So it was garlic, onions, celery, bell peppers. My rice and green onions. My rice whole season. Yeah, and green onions. Did you add salt and pepper to it? And then she added salt and pepper. I wasn't there because I, I wasn't already, in here. I seasoned, my, I seasoned my um, chicken last night. Had a good season. So my chicken is seasoned. And now she's going in with her tomato sauce. She got two cans. And I think those are the four ounce cans. She's adding it to her pot that her chicken is in. See that? Look all them. Look at that. Look all that seasoning. No. So the two cans of tomato sauce, like I said, went into the pot that her chicken was in. Now she's adding her room to her pot. Ow. Let me face it, babe. I don't want my face to get popped. And I don't want your face to get popped. I don't want it to burn off. I don't want it to burn off. Mom, you're so soft. Thank and you. And cuddly. Thank you. And sweet. Thank you. And fluffy. Thank you. <laughs> like you're a pillow, but I can't lay on you. You're at the store. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
Yeah. That's what most mamas are. They become to be soft and cuddly and fluffy and like a pillow. And then they become grandmamas that's soft and fluffy and cuddly like a pillow. <laughs> Just throw it around, y'all. And anything that you guys would like to add to this, any kind of meat or any meat y'all want to take away, you definitely can. Um... It's been times that when we do chicken gumbo, we will add okra to it. And you just get raw okra, not the batter. I got okra, but. And I'm, I'm going to say that because somebody might be like, what kind of okra? Just regular raw okra. Sometimes you can do frozen. Sometimes you can do the um, fresh picked one. It's up to you. But you got that option of doing that. You know, making gumbo is pretty much your thing. Whatever flavors you want to add to it. Or take away you can well seafood we do crabs because somebody might say well I don't see the crabs and stuff in there <laughs> or I don't see the shrimp in there because it's not a shrimp and chicken gumbo it's a chicken and sausage gumbo you can add shrimp to it though um, and it's not like I said we don't have crabs and crawfish and all of that because it's not a seafood gumbo so she went in with onion and garlic yeah, powder why you add more Cause I see that I had to get some more. Mhm. Mm and I just want to clarify when I said she put onions and garlic, she put fresh onions and garlic, and then she put onion and garlic powder. But now she's just going in with the onion, garlic powder, old bay, and parsley, and then the Tony Sassery. So I wanted to be clear on that. So she's adding powder both times. And the chicken when it was boiling and now with her gumbo. I got breast in here, thighs, wings, legs. And even I throw me a chicken neck in it because I love chicken neck. So they had one chicken neck and a wing. And I don't want it to cook off the bones. Because all, all the chicken will be all up in here. When I get ready to eat some gumbo, I want me a piece of chicken. And some sausage in it. Now, I'm going to turn this back up. Oh, I turned it. Y'all wondering why I'm putting put a little crab season in it and it's not no seafood gumbo? Just to give it a little, a little zap. That's all. Just, just give it a little zap. It's not going to hurt anything. And she put a half a tablespoon. Yep, it's not going to hurt anything. And we will have this over rice. Now for the gumbo base, you gotta use some cold water. Because if, if I put this in there and that's hot, it's gonna be lumpy. So I'm gonna get me some cold water. Add this. And once you put that in there, it's 
tight. It's hard to get that, um, what you call them out of Them lumps out. Yeah. Lumps. So I'm going to slowly add in this and whisk it. Yeah, I know this coming out. It won't be lumpy. I don't want to take no lumps. And while Mama whisking at, a few of you ladies had asked, am I going to share the sweet potato pie recipe? And I guess you guys had missed it. I don't know if y'all had, you know, kind of skipped through the video. But I did say the reason that I was not sharing the full recipe is because the Thanksgiving series will be coming up. So I'm going to share all of that along with my pecan candy recipe. I'm going to share it in full detail when I do my Thanksgiving um cooking series like getting ready for the holidays and it will be starting the beginning of November and if I do it now you know it'll defeat the purpose of me doing it again next month but I just wanted to share what I was cooking that day you know for you guys so yeah all of those recipes will be coming um, and like I said y'all see we in the kitchen more because it was just too hot for me in my opinion and then my mom said the same thing it was too hot to be in the kitchen trying to record set up a camera to record and cook during the summer months y'all know our air condition was acting crazy nobody wanted to pass out so that's why we ask y'all to just be patient and then come fall and winter we're gonna we cooking a whole lot more for y'all but it's like we want breaks in the summer like you guys do too when y'all want to make quick meals so y'all know how that go it's real life so oh, i like to cook a whole lot of stuff when it get cold right yeah, I got to color. No lumps. And then T from T and J was asking, am I going to do a cleaning vlog? Another clean with me? And I will. I'm going to do my kitchen one because y'all know the rest is self-explanatory. We cl I clean up every day. But y'all know when I do the kitchen, I pretty much take everything out of my cabinets, the top and bottom cabinets. And I disinfect and spray down everything, the top of the cabinets, and like literally everything. And then I'll have my son move the stove out. It'll be on a day that we're not going to cook. I got to get some of that kitchen cleaner. Um, I mean the stove cleaner, stove and oven cleaner. The one in the black and red bottle. I still can't think of the name of it, but it's by Scotchgard. And I'm going to use Comet and bleach, and I'm going to clean it off real good inside. And then, of course, like I said, he'll pull it out. And then once he pull it out, I'll clean behind there. The same with our refrigerator and deep freezer. So y'all will see that coming up soon. Also, um, it'll be after Thanksgiving. And we still got to do two tags. Yeah, we still got to do two tags. The blindfold burger. At a recent tag. And also, um, Mommy say we can do a um, three favor potato chip yeah remember so we gotta do that we haven't forgot yeah because i had burgers yesterday but i was the only one that had a burger yesterday so i didn't want to just do it by myself and we we well as far as the burger tag we're trying to wait till all the kids are home to do it together so i'm gonna slowly add this and remember her water was cold And while she's adding that, the gumbo isn't boiling yet. As y'all see, it's hot, but it's not like super, super, you know, it's not at a boil consistency. And again, this base won't lump. So once it starts getting to a boil, it still won't lump because all the stuff had dissolved. And that's basically it, y'all. And if any of you guys ask me, 
Well, why are you saying it along with Mama Marvin? Because I'm trying to cover stuff that she haven't said yet. Because you guys are asking the comment section. And Mama will reply back to you guys. But it's hard for her to reply back to every comment. So I would have to reply back to every comment. So it's easier for me to just say it in the video. So I won't have to, you know, go back and say it again. I'm going to turn my stove up, y'all. My burner. It's back on. What's that? Seven. And it's 8.14. What time we started? It was like, what, 7.53? 7.20. Well, I brought my chicken at 7.20. Yeah, I think when I came on, it was like 7.40 something. And it's 8.15. So, I'm going to test this. See if I need anything else. And mind y'all, the chicken is already boiled, so it's not Ooh. raw chicken. <laughs> no more seasoning. And this gave it a good taste. It is the bone. The home head, mom. Would you like to taste it? No, thank you. I got to eat breakfast first. This ain't going to hurt you. Uh, yeah, it'll have my stomach hurt. I just took my medicine. I don't mean your food. I'm, I want to clarify that. You got to clarify for people sometimes. I just took my medicine and I cannot eat or drink anything within 30 minutes of tasting it. So that's why I'm trying to wait. <laughs> and look how good it's looking, y'all. This is my sausage and seafood gumbo. I mean, let reverse because I'm so used to saying seafood. Because I'm, you know, y'all always, I always put my crab and stuff. But this is my chicken and sausage gumbo. I got a whole chicken in here. See? I did cut half of my thighs because it was some big thighs. That chicken was fat. Yeah, it was some big old chicken. And that go my wings. That go half a breast. And like I, and that go my, uh, chicken leg and I did leave the skin on it so it can get a flavor so I'm gonna let this cook for about roughly about uh what time is it seven eight seventeen nine I turn it off about roughly about ten I have to see cause I don't want like I say I don't want my uh chicken to get off the bone All right so it'll cook about an hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. But you got to just watch it and stir it. But thank y'all from watching Mama Marvin cook her little gumbo. And I am going to come it. back and share with you guys once it's done. But not once it's physical. When we get ready to eat and we plate it up, I'll share with y'all because Mama will be going to church. So like she said, about 10, quarter to 10. I will let y'all know how long it cooked in its entirety. When, Like I said, when we do get back, um, well, when she gets back from church and we get ready to eat. All right, y'all. Mama done made it back in from church. It is 1 o'clock. Philip and I already ate. Mama says she thinks she turned it off around 9.30. She said she think it was around 9.30. <laughs> She's just heating it up a little bit. Well, I started I started cooking at 7.20, boiling my chicken, all that stuff. Y'all seen that process. And I turned it off at, hell, 9.30. Give or take. Mm-hmm. And like I said, Philip and I ate already, but I didn't record or nothing when we ate. I didn't even record when we fixed our food. Cause I wanted, since Mama was the one cooking, I wanted her to share her plate. But it was really good. And before I turned, before I had turned the, the stove off, I put me some gumbo filet in it. Before I turned it off. But I'm fixing, fixing your plate. I'm and I'm finna sit down and finish. Looking at the Saints game, because I just came back from church. Just got in. Yeah, 
And I got on my shirt. You know, my brother gave me last year. They can just the chicken breast. Y'all see this? That's my finishing plate, y'all. Of my gumbo. They don't always just add me a little. Just add a pinch. Top it off. So that's it. I'm going to heat it in the microwave a little bit. Alright, there y'all go. So that, that my pin touching my gumbo. So y'all let her know what y'all think about it. So, y'all be blessed. I'm going to enjoy my food thing from hand with me and Alicia. So, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the game. Everything is going to work out fine. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to come on time. All I got to do is live today. Everything is going to end just right. Everything is going to fall in.